some purple basil, cilantro, more basil, lemon basil. Kind of a plant workspace. Ground covers, perennials, some hydrangeas, borage, lavender, angelina, juniper. More bonsai workspace. Hinoki cuttings. We'll see how that does. Grill space. Let's walk out to the garden. Status check. Looks like you need some water and food. tomato here our tomatoes were from seed so they they did get in a little late We've got a little bed here a few onions tomatoes on the railing there's our tomatoes right there i used grow bags we grew isis candy black prince and tigerella tomatoes i think our first tomato is starting to ripen so we are kind of behind a lot of people, but we're gonna have a nice little haul of tomatoes. Our peppers are behind also. Had trouble with the cucumber. Still alive, we'll see what happens, but got a horrible fungal infection or something's going on. That's the Armenian cucumber. We had trouble with it last year. Blueberries, already plucked all those. Some chive, peppermint, regular mint, rosemary. Dill did not do well. Um, we're gonna harvest it tonight and have it on a pork loin. Tokyo bunching onion, those have been great. Shortcake raspberries. Looking to propagate those for more plants next year. Some more herbs, thyme, sage. That's a cat mint. Parsley starting to come on. Oregano slowly creeping and doing better. Lemon balm doing its job, attracting some bees here and there. We might try that in a little tea. More cat mint. I like to give that to the cat watch it get a little crazy some blueberries back there we got berries planted throughout the fence line but it's mostly uh, perennial flowers my wife's working on some beds here a little pepper bed a few beds over here I really recommend these cement uh, Stones for bedding, raised beds, makes it so simple. Nice clean little bed. Oh, down here we do have a little peach tree and more berries. But you get an idea, this butterfly bush attracting all the pollinators. Big old blackberry. Echinacea. Look at these beauties. Now I don't know if you can use these varieties as a supplement. It's not the typical echinacea. It's a more colorful flower. A little peach tree here on the slope. We'll see. I think I'm gonna clear this area out a bit. Put a few more fruit trees up against the side here. And then basically all this field for chicken food and more landscaping stuff that we're gonna try to sell off salvia some crepe myrtle gonna post some of that stuff on Facebook groups and here's kind of a view of the place from this direction 
beautiful day in Western North Carolina. Take care.